Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I had a very busy day with the grandkids today. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I do homeschooling, and a lot of it is on the computer and having them, helping them to look at their emails to see what the teacher wants them to do. It's not like homeschooling of those of you that will um, plan your your academics. This is decided for you. And then there's the videos for them to watch. A lot of, in fact, my grandson was doing his math and every time it, he would get an answer, it would say, good job, you're whatever, it would say something. I said, man, I never got those kind of hoorays when I would answer a problem correct. I says, your math is all like, it looks like all games. And he goes, it's not games. And I go, it sure sounds like games. But that's what they did today. And I also put Mr. Brown outside. He was outside a lot today. He went in the garden. I'm going to put a little video of him in there. Mr. Brown, would you like to go outside? Would you? Up. Come on. go okay you're gonna have to sit have to sit nice I have to get my coffee too I'll put you in the garden would you like to go in the garden mr. Brown here down you go there you go in the garden not everybody puts their pets in the garden but I put you in the garden you stay in the garden you have to st no mr. Brown you can't come see me ah uh. You have to stay in the garden. Stay in the garden. In the garden. Today I brought Mr. Brown outside so he could just kind of look around. I tried to put him in the garden and he jumped out. He was in the garden earlier and he was enjoying it. So I thought, well, I would try it again. Let's see what you do in the garden. Come on up. Let's go see. Put you in the garden. Check around. See what there is to see. I figured this was a good place for him to be. There'd be bugs. And there's dirt. And there's greens for him to chew on if he wishes. There's leaves. And it's an easy way for me to keep track of them. There's lots of peppers still. I just picked all of the sweet peppers that are yellow. There's so many other peppers here. There's a lot of green ones still that haven't turned. And still a lot of Swiss chard. We've been eating it right along. You're so handsome, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, you are almost eight weeks old. You're not quite. At the end of the month, you will be eight weeks. If you were in the Run with the rest of them, I think you were a hen because you haven't pinked up yet. I also wanted to show you that my little blessing doll, the one that had the hair that was way down the back of her head, and her head was a really odd. It was the first one I made. It was the little one with the blonde hair. And I saw Pamela's adoring crochet. She had changed what she had done with the hair and I thought you know that's a good idea so I decided I would take her hair out which was not easy but I took her hair out and I redid her hair and this is how her hair is now and before it went all the way down but now it's it's not the the rows are still I can still see gapping of the brown but I like it a lot better it gives her head it makes her head look not so not so long it looked so long before and it gives it a little bit better look, but it's still, it's prettier. And I liked the way Pamela did hers, so I did mine that way. But it was not easy taking apart. So once you get the hair on, 
it was really on and it was hard to take it off. I hope you enjoyed the little video of the little lady. She is doing so good. In fact, Paige said that she looked outside and she couldn't even tell where she was. Actually, because she came in this morning and said, where she is she? Tell. Can't tell because she's she blends in so well with the others. She walks just like the other chickens and acts just like the other chickens. So it's she's done very well. She's come a long way. And I hope you enjoyed. And that's <laughs> it for today. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.